The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm talking about a lost arcade classic, Super Burger Time. Now, I played the original Burger Time quite a bit. Did not play Super Burger Time much at all. Came out in 1990, by then I was playing a lot of Sega Genesis, some Game Boy, lots of Nintendo. Not going to the arcades that much. So, Super Burger Time has just been released on the Nintendo Switch by Flying Tiger Entertainment. And it's part of the Johnny Turbo's Arcade Presents series. This is the fourth game that they've released. I'm going to look at it, check out first level. Let's go. All right, here's another release published by Flying Tiger Entertainment. And this is Johnny Turbo's Arcade Presents Super Burger Time. And at first I was thinking, gosh, why didn't they release the original Burger Time? And after playing this a little bit, I know why now, because this really is a better Burger Time. It's multiplayer. I think it's a great fit for the Switch, has better graphics, and it's got that kind of Super Nintendo feel to it, even though it wasn't a Super Nintendo game. Whenever I play this game, I think of the Super Nintendo release, but it was an arcade release, and it was a kind of an obscure one. You know, 1990, that's kind of a late release, and so... Here we go, here's the menu screen, and like the other Johnny Turbo's arcade releases, you have some options here, control, this is where you can see where the control styles, what does what, aspect ratio, 4369 filled, and I'm typically, especially when it's an original arcade game, I like to play it on the original aspect ratio, 43. You go back here, screen style, I've talked about this on the other Releases, you can have scan lines, you can have scan lines round, composite, RGB, S video, and the weird one VHS. I choose none. I like to you know, have it look as clear as possible. Start a new game. All right. This game starts off easy, but then gets really hard. And so that's important to know that, you know, there's unlimited continues, so you can play this game and you can, you know, blow through it pretty good. So it's it's definitely, you know, it's got about <clears throat> it's got five levels, three three screens per level and a boss fight. So it's not super long. This game does remind me of like a if Burger Time and Bubble Bubble had a baby. And it's just it's like a combination of that. So it's got a cutesy look, but definitely it was, you know, I don't know what it was about the late 80s early 90s. They had that had that look. Everything had to be cute. The difference with this burger time is you have to jump on the 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 food items to make them go down. And so versus kind of scrolling across them like the original burger time. And so you jump, jump, and jump. And it'll it should ah, don't do that. <laughs> and it's hard like the original. Definitely have more pepper in this one. Jump, jump jump and you clear the clear the screen when you complete the food item and you know you got every level has new features or new enemies you know you have uh, pea pods now I do believe and so you have to avoid things jump 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 and then you know we can get combo and multiplier by you know stacking items and Oh, the, the pea pods throw out things, so that's not good. So avoiding everything is important. You have limited ammunition. Jump, jump, jump. Ow! Oh! And I died. Play again, Let's see how far I can get. Let's see if I can get to the first boss here. I think I'd like to play to the first boss. Oh, man! Not doing too good here. So like the original Burger Time, it's about, you know, getting them to follow you or not follow you. Oh, it's tough. All right, so got to get that final one here. Having a heck of a time here. Oh no! 
So the one thing I would like to say about this game is that it is pretty hard. And so what kind of takes away from the difficulty is that you can just continue. Like I've said with the other releases, I think arcade releases are great. And I'm glad that Nintendo Switch is continuing to get non-Neo Geo arcade releases on the platform. What I don't like, and what I really don't like, is that it doesn't have like any additional bonuses, features, artwork. I really would like to see more of that, especially for eight bucks. This is a this is a better release, I think, than Sly Spy. I like Sly Spy, but this has two player action, and I think that that's gonna add some replayability. I think this is a perfect game to play on the go. You know, pretty much people sharing Joy-Cons, playing it, this is a fun, this is a fun little arcade game. Now, it's not my favorite game, but I do actually like this game a lot. A lot more than I thought. Now, I didn't have a lot of experience with this. I played a ton of Burger Time, and I've played a lot of Burger Time on different versions. You know, I've played the uh, different home console versions of Burger Time. But this one's kind of fun, and what I like about this is that there wasn't a home console release. So it's kind of cool that the Switch is getting an arcade port that didn't have a home console release that I know of. And, uh, and yeah, so pretty cool. Just definitely uh, need to see that. It just it looks like a Super Nintendo game. I really it's interesting. I wonder if someone out there is, would love to port this to Super Nintendo. I think it'd make a great port. It just has that Super Nintendo look, doesn't it? Comment, yeah. What do you think? <laughs> I'd love to see that. It'd have to be an unofficial port, of course. All right, so I gotta make these sandwiches here. Oh, boy, those pea pods, uh, they launched those peas. Those are deadly. One, two, looks like you have to jump three times. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, got that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, on the big sandwiches, you gotta go five jumps. All right, here we go. This is a, a boss. Ooh, bees. Ooh, bees. Evil bees. Let's see here. All right. Oh, geez. Jeez, come on. Okay, I think going over here. Avoid those bees. So you essentially just have to avoid the bees. Oh man, come on. All right, finally. So that's one level and then you go to the second level. Ooh, it's a lot different at least. Very colorful graphics. I like that it changes it up. This is like, a, it looks like it's candy themed. Oh no! So you can grab different weapons from the side here. And uh, yeah, boy, this is tough though. Boy, eggs are just as brutal in this one. So grabbing weapons on the side of the screen is super important. This weapon's cool. So you only have weapons for a limited amount of time, so that's... And then it happens. You die. <laughs> Super Burger Time is not a perfect game. I thought it was a little difficult without continuing over and over and over again. I, it's easy to play and difficult to master, but you know with the unlimited continues it kind of takes the challenge away from it I really 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 wish they would add achievements to these games unlockables artwork It just is needing something more than it is 
Now, has a decent amount of levels, has five levels, three stages, plus a boss. And I think playing with someone, this would be a lot of fun. You know, for people that are fans of Bubble Bobble or the original Burger Time, this is a perfect match, even Snow Brothers. And so, that's my thoughts. Not perfect, far from perfect, but a fun arcade game and two-player. And I think this is a great game to be released on the Switch. And so, yeah, there you have it. Thank you so much for people continuing to tune in to my channel as I march towards 60,000 subs. I'm getting closer. And people with their wonderful comments and staying positive, that's what I try to do. I try to just give back to the community and talk about games and my passion for games. Wherever you're from, you're wonderful and beautiful. Thank you for tuning in. This is the Immortal John Hancock. Thank you and take care. Tissing, tissing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Testing. Tissing. Would you like to say anything to my channel? Mm. What do you want to say? Good job!